and welcome to Fibre Mood. I'm Kate, one of the conversation managers for the English speaking community, and I'm here today in the office in Ghent in Belgium to show you what we've got in store for edition 22. As you can see from the fabrics and the colours behind me that we're really looking forward to spring here, a little more sunshine and a little more warmth. But as you'll see, many of our patterns look really great when they're layered as well, making them wardrobe staples all year round. So without further ado, let's get started. Our Emma Polo shirt is a brilliant alternative to a plain t-shirt, but not as formal as a button-down shirt. Looks good with everything, overalls, jeans, skirts, and you'll always look put together even if you have a casual and relaxed vibe. We decided Amber to have an oversized straight cut. There's no separate sleeve, but you'll see that we've got facings here to give some structure to the sleeve area. So make sure you have some interfacing to hand and be precise when cutting. Any kind of knit with some body will work well for Amber. Think pique, the typical choice for polo shirts. You could also imagine rib jersey, French terry, and of course you can also use it in a woven. Our one is in printed viscose and that we designed for the Fibre Mood fabric collection. There is a video tutorial on our website on constructing the placket. My top tip is to cut accurately and sew slowly for this part. Meet Bernie! Trousers that will take you wherever you want to be all year round, no matter the weather. We've got volume, we've got shaping and we've got front pleats secured at the ankle. This is right on trend and you can dress up Bernie in up or down in many different ways. We've got a lot of classical trouser details on Bernie as you can see. We've got a fixed waistband, we've got welt pockets. And if you've never made welt pockets or installed a trouser zip fly before, then the instructions will walk you through and we've also got videos to help as well. Choose a woven fabric for Bernie. If you choose something with structure, that will really help hold the shape. Basics with a twist are our favourite around here and we just love Carrie. She's so easy to dress up or dress down for many different looks. Some ideas for you. For the cooler temperatures, layer it over a top and just add jeans or boots. Keep it casual and tie it over a dress or a denim skirt or some shorts. And she also makes perfect office wear over a skirt and heels. And a surprise for Carrie, we've actually got two sleeves for you here. We've got a plainer sleeve and we've also got a pleated sleeve depending on how much detail you want to have on your shirt. Shirts are really well suited to wovens given the details on the collars and the cuffs. Cottons, linens, viscose silk for a drapey effect or something with more structure, you could even make Carrie in a fine corduroy. Broderie anglaise would also be a very nice choice. Drea is our trench coat of dreams. Just look at all those details. It will require some patience and time to sew, but it's going to be so worth it. We've got so much top stitching to emphasize the beautiful seam lines. Look at the storm flaps, the patch pockets, the raglan sleeve, there's cuffs on the sleeve, um, and there's also an inverted kick pleat at the back and a self fabric belt with proper buckles and eyelets. Drea is an unlined trench, so if you want to go even more extra, you could finish the inside seams with bias tape instead of overlocking. Don't forget that for this one, you'll need 11 buttons and a decent amount of interfacing. Eve is a wonderfully elegant and comfortable dress. Make her in a fancy fluid fabric for evening outings or style her casually for relaxing vibes during the day or even lounge at home. Eve will work for all occasions. You can really show off a lovely print with the Eve as the front and back are cut without centre front or centre back seams. We've got two lines of gathering at the bodice to provide shaping and the raglan sleeve keeps the shoulder line soft. You can see we've gone a bit extra as well with the gathering at the neckline and the sleeve cuff as well. Don't forget, of course you can adjust the gathers to suit your taste on the bodice. We recommend a lighter fabric with drape so the dress isn't too heavy since it's already a maxi dress. We're thinking about viscose, lyocell, chiffon or perhaps even double gauze for something with a little more body. Be sure to keep the lines of gathering in the bodice in until the end when you've tried it on so that you can make the adjustments as you like. A fabulous wardrobe addition, Fenna is a straight skirt but with a lot of fun details. Front yoke with slash pockets, 
button fly, patch pockets on the back, and of course, lots of top stitching to finish it off. For the button fly, we've got a video on that, so head to the Fiber Mood Academy on our website to find all of our tutorials. Denim is a classic choice for this pattern and that will always be in trend and give you maximum styling options. You can see our second sample here is made in a lighter weight cotton twill. Finally, some other things for you to think about. How about making a mini version or a midi version or a version in some fun printed canvas. If you're looking to add interest to your outfit, the Gabriella Body Warmer has you covered. We've got so many options here. Lining, no lining, and finish with bias tape. Ties, no ties, pockets, no pockets, whatever you want. But the star of the show is really the possibilities with the seam lines. As well as shaping, it's providing a very natural opportunity for color blocking, directional stripes, also on the pocket. We can't wait to see what you do with this one. Take your time with Gabriella, especially if you're choosing the lined version, and follow the pattern instructions closely. There's some curves to navigate between the lining and the facing, and there's quite a lot of understitching that requires a little bit of patience. But as you can see, the end result is worthwhile. Harper is how you turn a simple round neck three quarter sleeve top into something really special with the strategically placed gathers to create a circular shape. We recommend any light to medium weight fabric that will gather well. And if you want more statement, then go for example for a poplin to really make the gathers stand out or perhaps a chambray. And if you prefer something more understated, perhaps you could choose a print or a viscose. The pattern pieces aren't the same shape as a basic top with set in sleeves, so just pay attention to which edges are being gathered and which ones you're sewing together. But the good news, we are going to do an Instagram live sewing along for this, so you can watch it in English, Dutch, French or German and ask your questions, or you can watch the replay if you can't make it. Is it a top? Is it a jumper? Indie can be both. We chose a viscose rib knit with drape in an ochre colour, which is very easily combined with neutrals for a minimalist but elevated look. As you can see, our favourite thing to do is to wear this one with denim. Indie's got a really interesting construction because one pattern piece covers both the front and the back, and the exaggerated sleeves are triangle shaped for a really fun silhouette. Good to know, you can also make indie in a woven fabric if you like, so long as you choose something stretchy for the neckband and the sleeve cuffs and the hemband, perhaps a ribbing. Enjoy! Judy is a lovely, lovely dress ready for the springtime. Make her short, midi or maxi, whatever your mood fancies. For maximum puff sleeve effect, we suggest picking something with body, so we're thinking about poplin, double gauze or linen for example. Or if you want to be more understated, then a viscose or silk will also be lovely. Judy is really oversized, but you can of course size down for a more fitted look. And if you're still feeling the cold, you can add it an extra layer underneath. Good to know, the waist seam is slightly curved, there's a button back closure and side seam pockets. Judy's a fairly simple make, so you can start in the morning and then be ready to go out by the afternoon. By the way, she'll also look really great in a large scale print. We can't wait to see your version. We wanted to make a dress that was both cute and cool, so meet Lennox. We played with proportions here, as you can see, so we have a longer bodice with a dropped waist and a shorter pleated skirt. The front's got popper tape as a closure, but of course you can also use buttons if you prefer. Lennox is designed for woven fabrics and the limit is really your imagination. We're thinking about fabrics with a lot of drape, or you can go more structured like poplin, or something textured like a jacquard, or even quilted perhaps. Add some fun accessories, layer up if you're feeling the chill and you're ready to go. On the days where you feel like being wrapped up in a warm hug but still look chic, then Kaya in a quilted fabric is a dream dress. 
but fabric wise you can choose almost anything woven or knit. We particularly like ones that hold the shape, corduroy, denim or wool, but it also looks great in a flowy maxi. What we love about this dress is that it's lined and it's got side seam pockets. If you've never made a lined dress before, then Kaya is a really good place to start. Just take your time to slow, sew slowly and carefully and you'll get a great result. If you don't want to line it, that's no problem. Just put bias tape to finish the neckline and the armholes. That's it for edition 22 this time. And as you saw, as well as the dresses, we've got a lot of different separates um, that you can combine to make different outfits and just change up the look depending on the accessories. We hope you found lots of inspiration for the upcoming season. And of course, we wish you happy sewing and we'll see you next time.